Okay, our next task is to be able to register new users to our application. So what we'll do inside our account controller is we're going to create a new endpoint. So below the login, what we'll do is we'll say HTTP post and we'll give it a root parameter of register. And inside here, what we'll do is we'll say public async task. And once again, we're going to return an action result and we know the type we're returning, it's going to be the user DTO. When a user registers, as long as the registration is successful, then we're going to return that user object that also contains the token as well. So effectively, they're going to be automatically logged in as soon as they've registered. And then we'll pass in the register DTO and call it register DTO as the parameter here. Now we'll need to do a couple of checks, first of all, because we're going to ask them for their username and their email address. And we want to make sure that that does not conflict with anything that's already in our database. So what we'll do is we'll say, we'll add an if statement and say, if await user manager dot users, and we'll say any async, and we'll need to bring in Microsoft Entity Framework Core to use the async version of any. And then we'll say x goes to x dot email is equal to register DTO dot email. And if it is, then we're going to return a bad request and we're going to say email taken. And what we'll do is we'll just copy this line and we'll paste it below and we'll check that the username and the register DTO username. And if this exists, then we're just going to say username taken. And if we get this far, then we can go ahead and create a new user. So we'll say var user equals new app user. And we'll set the display name equal to register DTO dot display name. We'll set the email to register DTO dot email. And we'll set the username to register DTO dot username. And below this, what we can do is we can say var results equals, and we're going to say await user manager, and we're going to say create async, we'll pass in the user, and then we'll pass in the register DTO dot password. And then we're going to check to see if the result has succeeded. And if it has, then we're going to return a new user DTO. And we'll say display name equals user dot display name. We'll say the image is equal to null. We'll say the token is equal to token service. And we'll create the token and pass in the user. And the username will set to user dot username. And below the if statements, if we don't succeed, then we're going to return a bad request and say problem registering user. And this will suffice for our registration. So we can head back to Postman and see how we're getting on with this. And let's try and register, first of all, the happy path. Can we register a user successfully? So we've got an email address of jim at test.com, a username of Jim, display name of James, and the normal password I've been using. And we'll click send. And we get the 200 OK, and we get our user object back, including the token. And We've got one for a validation error. We'll come back to this because we haven't dealt with validation yet, but let's check the duplicate email. So we've got an email address of bobatest.com, which exists in our database. So if we click send, then we get the email taken. If we try and register a user with a duplicate username, and we've got a username of Bob there, and click send, then we get username taken. And if we attempt to register a user with a weak password, and we've got a password of just in lowercase there, and click on send, then we get problem registering user. But we would like to be a bit more informative about what the problem actually is here. So what we'll do next is take a look at how we can validate our register request.